channel if you're new here thank you so much for clicking this video so i had a little trip to Tottenham court road primer and i had some fabulous new in autumn pieces to share with you guys i'm thinking of doing primark hauls like seasonal and picking out all my favorite bits from that season and then if one season is popping and primark are absolutely killing it that season then any other hauls will just be little extras so we're going to start off with bang with one of my favorite departments which is of course the loungewear and picks up these baby blue drawstring joggers how nice are these honestly couldn't believe it when I saw these. They were on like the table with like all the hoodies and jumpers. There were some other joggers there, but most of them had like slogans on. And I'm not really a slogan kind of gal. I'm really hoping they bring out some more colours in these because these were only five pounds and they are so 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 nice and fleecy and soft inside. Hopefully they stay like that when you wash them. So I got these in a small, which is a 10 to 12, and they're like the perfect amount of bagginess on me i am only five foot four so i didn't want to size up to the size above to be honest i think they would have been too loose on the waist anyway and although you can pull it in i don't like it when it like do you know what i mean when it like bunches up here and it's kind of like but honestly the length the bagginess every one of these is perfect i've got the drawstring and then some silver hardware on the bottom and then also got a nice big thick cuff which i really really love i actually was shocked when i saw these on the table at primark because I've always ever known Primark to do like black, grey and navy joggers. So when I saw baby blue, I was like straight in my basket. I live in joggers in the autumn, winter. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed, they bring out some more colours in these. Next two things, as soon as I walked into the shop, I instantly gravitated towards it. And I got close to it and I was like, I really like this, but... So anyway, I walked away and I was thinking about it the whole time walking around the shop. And then I saw it in black. So I picked the black up and I was like... I'm gonna get it and everyone in the shop was there was like two four sorry two different kinds of them they also had like a turtleneck kind everyone was looking at them like with an odd expression had to get both of them so they look like this I might call them bibs kind of strange but I also kind of love it I literally was trying to explain it to Emily yesterday and she was like I literally have no idea what you're talking about um but yeah I just thought you know when you have those coats like my fur coat for example I would not be able to put like a big chunky jumper like turtleneck kind of thing on like this under it without being like I can't move my arms so I thought this long sleeved t-shirt or thermal how depends on the weather and then this over the top with the jacket on the illusion that you're wearing a jumper when you're not this cream one is so, 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 so soft. I wish you could feel it. The black one's not as soft. But these are only £6 each. So you're getting the illusion of a jumper for £6. It has this ring zip detail that goes all the way down. You can kind of like then wear the collar like so it flaps over. Or you can have it all the way up. But it does come quite high. These are such nice layering pieces as well. So yeah, I'd definitely say if you've seen these in your primer and you weren't sure, get them. Because they're really, really good. And they also had... Um, a grey and a black same exactly the same vibe just not like a zip up turtleneck but i personally preferred these ones I tried them on and jed was like they actually look really really nice i had it with um a long white sleeve t-shirt of his on which obviously you couldn't see and then my black leather jacket but you can put them over anything really sorry if the angle's a little bit different my camera just cut me off but i don't know where primark got this kind of trend from i haven't seen it anywhere else i don't know if this even is going to be a trend for this autumn winter or if it's just a really weird item of clothing but nonetheless i really like it so i think we can all agree that the best section of primark is the pajama section would it be an autumn winter primark or without pajamas i actually personally love this style of pajamas like the shirt one then with the trousers that aren't cuffed at the bottom my sisters hate pajama legs like this i actually am um, a sucker for pink. I do like a bit of pink. So nice little pink with hearts. You know what I thought when I picked these up? I was like, oh my god, these would have looked so good with my birthday picture because they would have matched. I'll insert it now. Extra, I know, but they were like the foil balloons, pink ones with hearts all over them. So I might have to get them again next year. The same with these, I got a size small, which is my normal size, and they were eight pounds. I didn't want them to be too big on the waist so that it would fall down. Hate it, hate, hate, hate when pajamas are tight. Like Mm -mm. so uncomfortable pajamas have to be baggy and these are the perfect amount of bagginess so i'm really happy because i was i'm in an hour in between like oh which size do i get there's no better feeling than fresh pajamas fresh sheets and having the coziest sunday ever which is what i'm planning on doing today i actually need to sort out my pajamas because so many of them are so old now and i have no space i want to buy some new ones as well and i have no space for them these are probably the thing i'm most excited about from this whole haul not gonna lie <laughs> next i had a little pop into my home section i picked up this mirrored frame this was £3.50 and all of my frames apart from one of them are just like the white 
Ikea ones, so I thought I'd pick a new frame up so it can sit, I don't know, somewhere like that. I mean, it needs to wipe, I need to clean it because I've got my fingerprints all over it. Everyone make your room look really nice and cosy. It did really pretty this autumn, and as I say, I probably put a picture of me and Jed in there or something. You know, I love some reusable makeup things. I do still have cotton ones, I'm just trying to get through them. These are two makeup remover pads. They're similar to the face halo ones, and these were £1.50. I have actually used one because I forgot to take makeup remover to Jed. These ones just look like this double sided, literally just use water, and it takes all your makeup off, honestly amazing honestly guys get on it you'll save yourself money in the long run because they're reusable and then i also got this three pack makeup cleansing cloths £2.50 fun fact i actually bought one of these probably like three or four years ago now and i saw i picked it up in primark and i was like remove your makeup just what surely i actually think there's a vlog on my channel and i'm like oh my god it's actually working so i decided to pick up some more of these because i really really like them and now i'm kitted out like i don't need to buy any more reusable makeup cloths or like pads or anything like that these ones are so, so, so soft as well. So they're literally just like a little flannel, honestly. Oh, they're so soft on your skin. So this one that comes with a pink one, a white one, and a grey one. And obviously, because you're only using water with both of them, you're using less micellar water, which means saving money and using less plastic. So next I got this zip-up hoodie, which was totally inspired by my friend Chloe. And this one was on sale for only £3, so it was supposed to be 7 they only had two XL and XL, so I got this in an XL. It's just like a burgundy hoodie. I absolutely loved how it looked on Chloe and how she styled it. I used to wear one of these to the gym. They're also really good for that, to be fair. But yeah, I just wanted one that I could style and actually wear out and make it look nice. Such a bargain. This was the only colour I saw. I didn't see any other colours in it. Again, a really good layering piece. I love layering like stuff like this and having like the hood. I don't know what it is. Like I love a hood coming out of jackets. Sounds a bit weird, but I just really, really like it. Honestly, if I didn't see this on Chloe beforehand, I don't think it's something I would really go for. It's not a very red burgundy. It's more of like a brown burgundy, though, to be fair. But burgundy isn't really normally a colour I would go for, but it just looks so good on Chloe that I had to get it. So I'm hoping I can pull it off as well as Chloe does, because she's a literal angel. Next, I got some bits from the beauty section. If you've watched any of my Primark calls previously, you'll know I absolutely love Primark's nail varnishes. So this is a nice autumnal colour in the shade Barely There. I'll show you what it looks like. I switch between gel and normal nail varnish because sometimes I just can't be asked to do gel, even though it does dry a lot quicker. But yeah, these are only a pound and they're really, really good. I really like these and a nice size bottle as well, to be fair, for a pound. But I see much prefer Primark to Barry M and a fraction of the price. And then lastly, I picked up a foundation. I recently got into using the three pound one. I used to use a five pound one, but I actually think I prefer the three pound one. So I got it in my normal shade because I do have it in my fake tan shade. And in this one, I got it in Cool Sand. Um, I'm actually wearing it now, but not this one. It's the same shade I'm wearing now, but not this foundation. It's a different Primark one. But yeah, this is a PS My Perfect Colour Matte Foundation. Oh, it's a really nice coverage, to be fair. And it doesn't feel too cakey on the face either. So yeah, I really, really like this foundation. To be honest, I love Primark Beauty anyway. I did actually pick up these really, really nice men's jeans. And they were only £5. They were like a carpenter and they were so nice but it was very 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 wishful thinking that they were so 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 big they literally like honestly i'm not even joking they came up to like here on me so i had to take those back unfortunately but they were really, really nice jed actually got them in his size i'm so jealous really really jealous i really wish i had my size but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up as it really does help my little channel out leave me a lovely little comment as well and i'll see you all in my next video bye